Now look, I get it, I fully understand different people out there have differing opinions on Elon Musk as a person, as a businessman, what he creates, what he does and says in this world, but one thing I will say that I really do respect about Elon Musk is how back in 2023 he called out Bob Iger, he called out the Walt Disney Company, he engaged in multiple legal battles and lawsuits that he actually is funding to this very day to really call out Disney to expose what Disney and Bob Iger all, are all about, basically, in 2024 and what they are about to do in 2025 and beyond. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, we know that Elon Musk is working hand in hand with the Gina Carano lawsuit against Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Iger, and he's also overly funding that legal case. So that's a very big thing right now going on. But one other thing that is a growing issue are there are many figures out there that have a lot of problems with Elon Musk calling out Disney, calling out Bob Iger. And one of those is not a big shocker, Rosie O'Donnell. Now, you guys may or may not know this, but she does have a history with the Walt Disney Company. Uh, she voiced over a character, I believe it was called Turk in Tarzan 1999. The animated one, of course, and focusing on all of this, we know that there's a lot of people out there within the Hollywood bubble, within the film industry, that completely reject Elon Musk just because he has common sense when it comes down to what the film industry should stand for and what it should really focus on. So this is where things begin to go out of control. So with Elon Musk already gearing up to advance with his lawsuits toward the Walt Disney Company, for example, the Gina Carano case, that he is heavily funding right now, and among others as well, those that support Disney such as, of course, Rosie O'Donnell recently went on a tirade against Elon Musk, again, about his efforts to expose and call out Disney. Now, O'Donnell delivered the following. Well, I think somebody like Elon has too much time on his hands, focusing on what Disney is doing and what Mr. Iger is trying to establish out there with many movies and TV shows that finally support representation. Something that I think as an actress and one in this industry have been waiting for to be normalized for years. And for someone like Elon to say that DEI is a danger to society is very scary stuff and extremely alarming to everybody, and it should be. And with the lawsuits he is pursuing against Disney, Disney, they are just so unnecessary and just a part of his narrative that Disney is so bad towards society and how they treated certain actresses the wrong way. It's just all nonsense and I just think Elon needs to back off already from Disney and what they are trying to do in order to please younger audience members that tune into these movies and TV shows. Look, I worked for Disney before, many times actually, and sure, it's changed over the years, but it has changed for the better, trust me. And for Elon to have an issue with that evolution, I think, is very revealing of his character and where he stands as a businessman. Maybe he should stick to making rockets and robots instead of attacking the suits at Disney because I think that behavior coming from a man is rather humi humiliating for him. He could stop that humiliation if he just quits already and gets off Disney's case. This is what happens when you have a guy that has so much money in the bank he just doesn't know what to do with himself anymore so he takes his time to find all the wrongs in a company and to throw things out of context in this case with Mr. I and those at Disney. Now guys, let me just stop here for one moment before I move on about Rosie O'Donnell's nonsense and how she lacks common sense. First things first, Elon Musk is contributing to society. Have we not seen what he has been doing with SpaceX? With, of course, with the Tesla cars out there. Or, for example, what he just revealed. I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, everything with Starlink, by the way, uh, really saving lives out there and really allowing others to communicate when they can't. But also, we have a lot of new announcements. The Optimus robot, the Robovan, and let's not forget about the cyber cab. These three major announcements that just dropped like two days ago, one day ago, is very big for Elon Musk. And look, at the same exact time, we know that a lot of those out there do not like the fact that Elon Musk took over X. And look, 
If you're one of those people that do not like the fact that Elon took over Twitter and turned it into X, that's fine. But look, at the same exact time, we know that he supports free speech, we know that he supports common sense, and to me, that is a very big deal in this world, and should really be the focus, and it is the focus for Elon. But Rosie O'Donnell seemingly has an issue with Elon Musk calling out and exposing Disney, what he did back in 2023, and what he promises to do again and further throughout the remainder of this year and leading into 2025, Elon is making that a promise that he wants to put Disney on full blast and really put them in the hot seat yet again in the coming months. And we have a lot more to talk about that, by the way. So we talked about Elon Musk a couple of months ago, guys, if you have been following us here for a while. And this is a guy that really wants to keep Bob Iger in the hot seat. This is the very guy that said GFY to Bob Iger, of all people, right? Something that you would have never expected to actually have happened. Now, moving on from that, she goes on to conclude, Disney is innocent. They are doing nothing wrong. They are not sending or forcing any kind of a message. I can't stress this enough. So many out there are falling for this noise that Disney is attempting to do this or that towards society, and it's got to stop. Elon needs to stop making that case to the public as well and supporting some of these legal cases. I just think Elon is a very flawed man. More than half the things he creates are just dreams that become half-truths. He's not as successful as many would like to believe, so he can build all the cars, rockets, and robots he wants, but he will never be as successful as Disney and what they contribute to the people instead of flawed inventions that haven't really even picked up just yet. So look, uh, you know, say what you will about what Elon does. This man really does have a lot of common sense when it comes to free speech, when it comes to protecting everything related to that, and also really just calling out Disney and what they're all about. You know, I think he's right that DEI is a very flawed system when you're focusing on that as a priority, when you're focusing on that over entertainment and what should be presented in film, television, their theme parks, whatever it may be. And this is something that's not just flooding Disney, by the way, it's flooding a lot of organizations out there. And this is something that also needs to be said. There's a lot of organizations out there that are beginning to drop DEI. You know, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, Harley Davidson tried to adopt DEI and then quickly kind of departed from that after they got so much backlash. But it's interesting to say the least that you have somebody like Rosie O'Donnell losing her mind, going, you know, unhinged toward Elon Musk. And I think it's come to a point where a lot of Hollywood figures despise Elon Musk because he is, in fact, uh, very much so powerful because he adopted Twitter and turned it into X and is able to say everything and to expose everything. And Bob Iger's not having it, Disney's not having it as well. And it's something at the same exact time that Bob Iger is getting very defensive about. We talked about this like six months ago where Bob Iger got very defensive toward Elon Musk, started saying a couple things about him. But I would like to hear what everyone has to say about this below in the comments about everything related to Rosie O'Donnell, Elon, X, etc, etc. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.